Age related macular degeneration affects 11 million people in the U.S. and that number is expected to nearly double by 2050. Ursula Perry shows us researchers are looking into how a unique characteristic of a zebra fish can regenerate retinas in humans and keep people seeing as they age. These fish might be tiny, but they come with some surprising superpowers. Zebra fish, unlike mammals, are able to regenerate parts of their retina if they become injured. That is why researchers from Vanderbilt University Medical Center are studying how this characteristic of zebrafish can help humans dealing with age-related vision loss due to damage to the retina. The cells that make up the retina between the fish and the human are very, very similar. Except for one cell called MG for Muller glia. In a zebrafish, when the cell is damaged, it will activate and then regenerate. So the fish will go from blind to about um, two and a half weeks later, total regain of eyesight. Humans have the same Muller glia cell, but they are incapable of regeneration like the zebrafish. Researcher James Patton is trying to find out if suppressing a certain type of microRNA in humans could activate Muller glia the same way it does in zebrafish. Currently, the economic burden for eye disorders and vision loss sits at $139 million, but... If there were ways to uh, uh, keep people uh, seeing and overcome degenerative disorders, I um, mean, that would have a huge economic impact, not to mention quality of life. This isn't the first time you've seen these little zebra fish. It's because they're often used in medical studies because they share about 70% of the human genetic code. After these little fish, next up are mice and then other small mammals. Then finally, humans will be used in the testing. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.